I actually really quite like it. I would definitely uh, recommend it. Why don't I hear that? <laughs> it's actually surprisingly good. What's up everyone? I am finally back. Unless you're new here, then welcome to the channel. My name is Spidey. And for today's video, it's going to be something really quite different for me personally. I am going to be trying some weird and wacky recipes I've found online. Mostly on YouTube, some on TikTok. Some of them are extremely bizarre, but I think they're going to be cool to do. Now the reason I really wanted to do a video like this is just because I really enjoy watching these kind of videos myself on YouTube and I thought it would be really fun and really interesting to try all of these crazy crazy experiments. Before I start though, I do want to apologise for any bad audio or bad video. I'm really not used to recording in my kitchen, it's my first time. So I do apologise for any of that. But regardless of that, let's get into the recipe shall we? Alright everyone, so we're here in my rather unevenly lit kitchen I'm afraid. <laughs> but the first recipe is actually going to be dessert for later on. Now I personally I personally love Greek yogurt, absolutely love the door, I really do. And I saw this really bizarre TikTok recipe. Right, yeah, that seems very easy, doesn't it? So yeah, we got my got the jelly. I uh, I chose orange jelly myself. The uh, I thought it might be interesting. <laughs> I've got also got my Huge tub of uh, Greek yogurt, mm, delicious. Mm. Ice Greek yogurt, so damn good. <laughs> now we need first thing we need is two hundred milliliters of boiling water. Pop that in there. Cool. Now we uh, get our jelly pack ready, or orange jelly. I thought, I thought orange might be interesting. At least try. So let's get that in there and melt it up. Now, by the way, you do not have to cool this jelly apparently. It's cool for the TikTok anyway. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> now we need 250 grams of Greek yogurt. <clears throat> Alright, we'll spoon that in there. <laughs> okay, now you're just gonna put this in here, I think. Looks very pink, doesn't it? <laughs> At least on my end, it does. I don't know what it looks like to you guys, but it's definitely pretty pink. Now, uh, this goes in the fridge apparently for about an hour, uh, so let's plop that in there. Alright, now that's in the fridge. Uh, while we do that, I'm going to tidy up and we'll move on to the next recipe. Next recipe now, I've got a question for you all. Have you ever wondered what the awesome combination of strawberries and pasta would be like? Me neither, but apparently someone in Poland did. <laughs> and I think we need to go over to Poland, check everything's okay over there. Alright, yes, so we're now going to make some Polish strawberry pasta. Should be very interesting. So I'm going to make the strawberry sauce first, so let's cut up some strawberries, shall we? Yeah, can you feel the strawberries? <laughs> Now the strawberries are finally cut up after like many many years. <laughs> uh, this next part requires some clear honey. I'm gonna say to add three to four tablespoons of that. So if it's a uh, go, boop. A uh, teaspoon, sorry, not tablespoons. <laughs> three to four teaspoons of honeys. Bloop, 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 bloop. Two. I'm gonna add about three. I don't like uh, sweet stuff too much to be fair actually. It's probably like way more than three in there to be fair. <laughs> That'll do. Now this next part just say sour cream in the original recipe but I'm substituting that for Greek oil because frankly I hate sour cream. <laughs> uh, so we're going to add six tablespoons of that. So let's plop that in if I've got enough here. One. Oh, there was enough left for the two. <laughs> there. Now if I need some vanilla extract. This is optional, you do not have to add this apparently, so I'm just adding a teeny weeny bit of that. And that <laughs> drop that. <laughs> and now we blend, yeah, time for more noise. There we go, it's all now mashed up lovely. 
So it's seeing what it smells like. It smells like strawberries, I guess. <laughs> well, that's obvious. Pizza. Now that's all mixed up, just left some pasta to cook now. I'll be back. Let's give this a go, shall we? See what it's like. This could be either really awful or really good. Let's have a, let's have a try. Why don't I hate that? <laughs> it's actually surprisingly good. I mean, you can't really taste the pasta that much, to be fair. With like, I think the, the strawberry kind of masks the taste of the pasta a little bit. But overall, it's actually pretty damn nice. It's getting like a strawberry yogurt mixed in with some pasta. Best way to describe it, really. But yeah, I'm really surprised about that one. For this next recipe, it's going to be a, a nice little drink just to wash some of that down. So all we need is a big bottle of Sprite and two tea bags of your choice, apparently. Uh, now, the rest of the original recipe did recommend black tea, but I'm actually using flavoured mango and strawberry tea, just to see what it's like. So you basically just plop this in here and leave it for 15 minutes or so, and uh, we'll see what it's like. Oh, look, guys, looks like my jelly Greek yogurt is ready and uh, set already. Uh, I actually kind of want to give this a try now. Let's have a try. <laughs> very bitter, very orangey. I think when maybe with a different flavoured jelly would be, be, be nice. Not with orange though. I would not recommend it with orange jelly at all. <laughs> no. Right, now I'm back in my living room. Just to try out this awesome Sprite looking drink. Check it out, it's all went awesomely red now. Uh, left it for more like 35 minutes in the fridge, give or take. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. Mm, yeah. Not sure what I make that. You can definitely taste the lemon and lime from the Sprite. You know, take, taste a bit of the mango and fruitness from the tea. Surprisingly, you can't taste the tea itself though. Uh, I thought it would be really taste like a tea type taste, but no, nah, not getting that at all. Overall, yeah, I'm pretty. It's pretty nice. I definitely will be drinking it. Hmm, lovely. <laughs> the next day right so we're back in the kitchen now and it's actually the next day i had to take a bit of a break but we're going to move on to the next recipe I and mean, for this i'm going to need a really big wiener and then i'm going to need these hot dogs <laughs> so yes for this next recipe it's like a hot dog cheesy wrap type recipe so we're going to need some wraps i got these white and wheat wraps from my local uh, store and uh, we're going to need to cut these in a very specific way so let me show you we cut the edges like this, apparently, on the side. Uh, now we put that up here. Yeah. And now, apparently, you need to leave one side like this. So I'm going to cut uh, this side. I guess it's easier, easier to wrap up, I'm assuming. I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, now we've got like this weirdly shaped tortilla pot left of a wrap, I guess. And also for this, you need some cheese. I've got some mozzarella slices. Lovely. I bet this would be nicer with some other cheeses as well, I'm assuming. Put the hot dog on. To be honest, I'm now questioning the wisdom of buying the, the biggest hot dogs I could find in the store, apparently. <laughs> so, but whatever, we'll go with it. So yeah, apparently you wrap this up like so, in the cheese. Gorgeous. Now once it's wrapped up, we apparently put it in some egg wash. Lovely, lovely. Slimy, slimy, slimy. <laughs> Right, so I'm just going to spritz the pan a bit. With some uh, olive oil spray, by the way. Now, apparently, once you put this on the uh, on the uh, thing here, it's very important to apparently put it down this side. Uh, so I guess it seals the in, I'm assuming. So put that on there. Now we get it cooking until it's pretty much all browned up, apparently. Right, <clears throat> right it's cooking away now. It is cooking away. Ooh, it's getting nice and brown. Golden brown. <laughs> she is now cooked. Hmm. I've uh, kind of halved it to make it hard, easier to handle. <laughs> let's have a look. Check out that. Looks nice and cheesy in there. Well, let's give it a try. See what it's like, shall we? It's certainly very salty. <laughs> I like it though, it's really nice. It's um, You can definitely taste the cheese. I would really like to try this like another type of cheese maybe, but uh, I, I really, really like this. It's really quite nice. Mm. 
Okay everyone, we're now on to the final food recipe of this video. This is actually the next day after the hot dog thing. A small update for that one everybody. Um, it was really nice, very tasty, really good. However, my stomach decided it did not like it at all. I spent pretty much the entire rest of the night with a very, very, very bad stomach, let's put it that way. And it just did not end up being going very well, like at all for that. Anyway guys, <laughs> for this last food recipe, uh, I found this one on, on YouTube. It's got a croissant pizza. Uh, I'm going to need my air fryer, which is awesome. Uh, I also going to need some puff pastry. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting. Pizza with puff pastry. Mm. Right, so we have the uh, puff pastry laid out here. It smells very buttery, I will give it that, but I'm going to cut it into four equal parts. So let's do that first. So, well, roughly four equal parts anyway, so yunk. Yunk. There we go. I say I've never really worked with this stuff before. Right, I've separated them out now. So I've uh, got now we need some pes pizza sauce. Sorry, I was going to say pesto sauce or something. <laughs> but pizza sauce, or what we class as pizza sauce here anyway. <laughs> so we're going to spread some of that on here, get it open. Yeah. Lovely and tomatoey. We're going to spread some of that on some of these. I'm just going to, I'm using a spoon by the way because I just don't have anything else to be fair. <laughs> okay. I'm only going to do two. Now we need some kind of meat. Uh, the original recipe calls for uh, pepperoni, but I'm actually going to use spicy chorizo because, you know, why the hell not? So I'm going to plonk some of that around on this. Uh, now we're going to use my mozzarella sauce for cheese. I still have some from the other recipe, so why not? Again, just going to tear it all up. Plop it in random bits here and there. Right, next part is to egg wash all of the edges now. So we're gonna put in a little bit of egg wash in there. Let's do that. I don't, again, I need a thing, a tool to do this to be fair, but I don't have one. <laughs> now, once you've egg washed it, the best way to apparently wrap this up is diagonally. So one side to the other, so let's see how that goes, shall we? Okay, can I? Make a pizza parcel, I guess. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's like the worst looking thing ever, but you know, whatever, it all works. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna egg wash that as well. Right, that one's done. So now I'm gonna wrap up the other one and I'll take you over to my air fryer. Right, so we've got them in the air fryer now. Now it seems to put it in the air fryer at 190 degrees Celsius for eight minutes, but it also does say to preheat your air fryer. So I've just been, been preheating it for the past couple of minutes or so. So I'm gonna plop those in. They're cooking away now, you can probably hear my air fryer. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in about eight minutes and let you know how they taste. A few moments later. Okay, well they're finally cooked. Uh, these actually took a lot longer than eight minutes. I actually had to turn them over and cook them in it for an extra five minutes. So it took more like 13 minutes for these to be done totally. But check out these, hope you can see them okay. They come out really nice and super like crispy fried and stuff. Uh, dig into one, uh, the one side here and uh, give it a try, shall we? And see what it's like. It's very hot. Yeah, I like those. If you really like your pizza, you will definitely, definitely like these. It definitely just tastes like a croissant pizza, really. These are really quite delicious, and I'm definitely gonna have these for my dinner. <laughs> okay, last recipe. This one is on TikTok. It is called a Dirty Dr. Pepper. Uh, it involves some lovely, delicious Malibu, and I thought it might be nice to have some alcohol to wash down those pizzas I just had as well. <laughs> just gonna use this sports drink here, just because it's pretty much the only thing I have to be fair. <laughs> uh, but for the ingredients, we're gonna need three shots of Malibu, so let's put those in. One, two, and three. Next up, we need some lime juice. Gonna need two shots of that. So let's put those in now as well. One, and two. And then next part you also require, it says heavy whipping cream on the original recipe. Uh, all I've got is this fresh whipping cream, so I'm hoping it'll do this kind of big job with look. Two shots of cream as well. Get my hands all creamy from this. <laughs> Lovely. The last part just requires some Dr. Pepper, of course, because we well, wouldn't really see that without it. <laughs> so let's fill the rest of that. 
quite an interesting colour, but let's give it a try. Right, I give her a good stir. It's actually left quite a uh, thick, creamy top on it. I do hope this means that the cream hasn't went off though. <laughs> but I'll give it a try anyway and see if I get sick. <laughs> I'm going to have to have another drink of that because I'm not really sure what to make about yet, to be fair. Oh, you cream all over me now. <laughs> Giggity. Right, you know what? I don't mind it. It's not great. It's not bad either. You can definitely taste the lime from the lime juice in there. You can also taste, definitely taste the uh, Malibu. But weirdly, you can't taste the Dr. Pepper though. Um, that's The rest of it just seems to obscure the taste of the Dr. Pepper. But otherwise, it's actually not too bad. It kind of looks like uh, iced coffee almost. Uh, would I try this again? Probably not, but it's it's definitely interesting for sure. Alright, so I'm back in the living room again. I actually uh, remade the Dr. Pepper again, uh, but this time with Greek yogurt. I wanted to try it out and it's actually really surprisingly good with the Greek yogurt in there. You can still taste the lime and the Malibu for sure, uh, but the Greek yogurt, it, it gives it ever so slightly like zingy taste to the drink and I actually really quite like it. I would definitely uh, recommend it. Hmm. Yeah, it's really, really good. So yeah, everyone, I hope you did enjoy these recipes. I certainly have been. It's been a huge amount of fun. If I had to pick a favourite, I'd probably go for the strawberry pasta just because of how surprisingly tasty it was given what was in it. I'd also go for the hot dog one that was also really nice despite the stomach problems it did actually give me. It was still really tasty and really nice. Do let me know in the comments down below if you've tried any of these yourself or you just anything or maybe even some suggestions because that would be really, really cool. It really would. Uh, but overall, yeah, it was a huge amount of fun. Subscribe to the channel as well because I would definitely be doing more like, videos like this in the future. So make sure you stick around for those. But until then, I hope to see you all in the next one.